What's good, y'all? This is L Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share. Just dope content if you like it, you heard? Let's get it. Let's get it. Now this joint right here is about new Sean Williams. You heard? The dude that was running around from state to state, borough to borough, town to town, giving a lot of young ladies HIV, AIDS, as the government or the state would say it. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I'm coming up with this story is because I've been researching, you know what I'm saying, my content. I've been knowing what I've been wanting to come out with. And um, I was out... I, I, I was working on a new Sean Williams story for like two weeks now. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crazy how I heard a story last night where the dude mentioned his name. So I thought that, I, I said, yo, let me get this story out there before, you know what I'm saying, before before anybody else spread anything else on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, I, I've been working on the story for like two weeks, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a include this story into another store, uh, into something that's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. My whole family was cold, was sick. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get over this stuff. You know what I'm saying? That flu running around. You heard? I heard a lot of people caught it. But yo, this dude knew Sean Williams, right? I was working on his story for like two weeks, but... Just this last week, the mayor Lek Adams, you heard? The dude is talking about taking homeless people off the street and throwing them in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 against their own will, even if they didn't do a crime. And what's better yet for me to tell a story because everything that Eric Adams is trying to produce with the homeless people right now in New York City with the police department, they doing that to new Sean Williams, you heard? And I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that they had a law on the books, you heard, that could say that after, you don't even have to do a crime or, you know what I'm saying, and they or they could commit you into a hospital and, and, and basically take your freedom that way. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you on why the dude knew Sean Williams is in a is committed into a hospital. You heard? Because Back in the 90s, you heard when I, I think it was I think it was like 98, 99. I was in Clinton. You heard. And um, I was I was in Clinton and I was reading about new Sean Williams. You know what I'm saying? How he was a dude from Brooklyn, New York. You heard. He supposed to be from Brooklyn, New York. Right. And he supposed to be going from borough to borough. You heard giving chicks HIV. You know what I'm saying? Young chicks at that. You know what I'm saying? Because he was he was a young dude, but he was like he was like a supposed to be like 18, 19 year old dude, and he supposed to have been sleeping with chicks that was like 15 and 16. You know what I'm saying? And he supposed to have been giving them HIV. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So they say he started like out of out of Brooklyn, then he moved his way to the Bronx and uptown, and then he moved his way to out of town until he moved his way to um, upstate New York. You understand? In particular, white poor town called Jamestown or Johnson Town, New York. It's, I think it's called Jamestown, New York, because th that's how good my memory is. The town that he moved to was not too. It was. It was not too far from Buffalo, New York, and all that. It was, it was like eight hours away from the city. You know what I'm saying? Jamestown, New York, seven hours away from the city. You know what I'm saying? It was a poor white town. You heard? When he went up there, and he started sleeping with a lot of them young white chicks. You heard? And not only was he sleeping with them, what was he doing? He was passing along the HIV virus. You heard? He was giving these women HIV. He was giving these young girls HIV. You know what I'm saying? So like I told you. I'm reading the whole thing about him. They calling him a monster. They got his pictures in the paper. I'm this, this is big news. I was big on reading, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like this, and I think I was, you know what I'm saying? I, I was on him, I'm telling you, I was on him. You heard? Hard body, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh shit, this dude running around giving chicks AIDS and he know he got it, man. Man, this dude foul, man. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta think about it. 
at, you know, we can't believe everything that we we read in the newspaper. We can't believe everything that we hear on the news. You understand what I'm saying? But it's some truth to this. You know what I'm saying? It's some truth to this. So make a long story short. They was claiming, they was making it seem like they was going to charge them with all those crimes of giving women HIV. You know what I'm saying? When, when, um, knowingly. But I'm not sure if they had a law on the, on the books like that. At the time, you heard they probably had a law in the books, but I don't. I don't know if they had a law in the books like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, or I don't think they could have. They could prove it as much as they was spreading it. Like they was putting it in the paper and on news. Like yo, this dude is going town to town, spreading it to this these young women and this and that, that and this, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But it it could have happened once or twice, and then they ran with it. But I don't know. You heard? I was just getting it from the newspaper, and I'm in prison, so I'm only getting. But so much information But Guess what Clinton has a place Called APPU Yeah APPU High classification PC You heard Yeah That's where Tupac was at Yeah When Tupac first came to Clinton He was um He went to the mess hall And I heard dudes Was saluting them You heard You know what I'm saying They seen how dudes Was saluting them They seen the type of Love Pac got You understand what I'm saying you heard? So they put Pop in APPU. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't know what to expect from him. They didn't know if he was going to strengthen the, the prisoners or he was going to cause a riot. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, they put him in APPU. And that that's where and APPU is, 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 in, is in lower H. You heard? I was in upper H. Upper H is regular population. And then lower H is all in the same block, but it's cut off. You heard? It's cut off. You know what I'm saying? It's cut off. You understand what I'm saying? And um, so now, but when APPU people go to the yard, they could um, they could they get their yard is separated from our yard through by a gate. You understand what I'm saying? And and when you can see them coming out, but you can't see them in the yard because they walk down a little path to get to their yard. You know what I'm saying? Because their yard is small behind the block. You know what I'm saying? And and and. and and blocked off. Nobody can see in their yard and they can't see out their yard. You know what I'm saying? So you can never be looking in their yard to see everybody that's in, in, what they doing in their yard. But you can see them come out to go to their yard. And when they come out to go to their yard, they walk past you on the other side of the gate. If you stand in that area in the yard, you know what I'm saying? So we were standing in a certain area in the yard, me and my couple of my blood homies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm standing in... Now, 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 New Sean Williams got found guilty, not of nothing with no AIDS or nothing, I don't think, of giving nobody no AIDS. I'm not sure about that. He had some drug cases because he, he was go. they claimed that he was going to all these towns and he was hustling, having sex with all these white girls, young white girls, you heard? And then he, he gave like two or three of them HIV, you know what I'm saying? Young white girls, like 15 or 16. And he was supposed to be like 18, 19, or 20. See what I mean? And he black out of Brooklyn, New York. So, boom. So, now, they dragging him. You know what I'm saying? They dragging him. As they should. You know what I'm saying? If he's a foul monster, as they portrayed him to be. You know what I'm saying? So, they dragging him. You heard? So, they dragged him in the news. He's a monster. You heard? He's a monster. But he didn't get the time that that they they wanted to give him, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to give him natural life, but he didn't get the time that they wanted to get him. So what? So I didn't even know that on they have a law on the books that you don't even have to commit a crime, no matter if you did your time and all that. They could they could remand you to a hospital against your own against your will. They could remand you to a hospital against your will. And new Sean Williams right now is locked up in an upstate hospital for um 10 years past his time that he did. 10 years, because he only had drug cases, so they gave him the max they could give him on drug cases. They gave him like 8 to 16 or 4 to 12 they, they loaded him up he had a he had a decent amount of time like 20 like 20 years they loaded him up he did it right right now 10 years past his date when he was when he was about to go home he's like nah nah you ain't going home 
you getting admitted to the hospital. You heard? And that's where he's at. He's been in the hospital 10 years past his date. You heard? Now, how significant is that? The significance of that is because he said that in the courtroom when he got sentenced or a politician or somebody told him that he would never see the streets again. They said he would never have his freedom again. That's what they told him. Even though they couldn't charge him and they couldn't get him with giving a lot of them women AIDS and HIV, they, they said, they told him, you'll never see the streets again. You'll never see the streets again. You heard? That's what they told him. You know what I'm saying? And sure enough, he's been in jail 10 years past this date. Or probably longer. You know what I'm saying? And I was just doing, I was just doing my research because I knew it was a story. And I, and I was doing, I was, I, I was doing this story. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm bringing it to you. And I heard it was mentioned in a story yesterday. His name was mentioned in a story yesterday. And I said, damn, let me get this story out there before, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else try to beat me to the punch with that story. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't see that story out there yet. The new Sean Williams story. You heard? And... I was working on that for like two weeks now. You know what I'm saying? And I was, it's, I'm, I'm incorporating it into what Eric Adams is trying to do with the homeless people right now because he's trying to do something similar. You heard? He's trying to take a, he's trying to like basically gaslight a law that's on a book that he's trying to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to make it effective. You understand what I'm saying? And um, Imagine if they do that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of homeless people going to be bent up, you know what I'm saying? They can say you crazy, you can't take care of yourself, admit you into a hospital. Once you get, once they get you in that hospital, you, it's hard to get out them joints. You go up, you go, you go to meetings, you go to little witch corners to get out. <laughs> nah, they, you ain't getting out, B. They got, yo, you, everything you do, they write you, they write it down. They, 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 they do a report on you. They got, they got you looking like you Psycho Michael, you heard? You ain't never getting out. You could be as sane. You could be as as you could be. They got you a cycle, Michael. Got you a cycle, Michael. You heard? You ain't never getting out, B. They they, they finger fucking the records. You heard? They got your folder looking like this. You heard? You got you got fo you got two or three folders. You heard? You ain't going nowhere. You heard? And New Sean Williams said, because I was reading, you know, they let him talk. He's talking because he's been in jail for 10 years. He's he been in the hospital for 10 years. He did like 19 years in jail, over 20 years in jail, something like that. And, and he been, and that, and then uh, when he finished his time, he was supposed to go home. They was like, nah, you ain't going home. You going to a hospital. You can't take care of yourself. You weird. Something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with you. But a politician told him, you will never see your freedom again. You ain't never going to see your freedom. You heard? But I'm going to tell y'all the story that happened with New Sean Williams in APPU. When New Sean Williams first got to APPU, he was coming out. Like I told you, I was on to the nigga. So I'm standing by the gate with, with a couple of my bloods. So the nigga New Sean Williams came out the, out the, out the, out the what you call it. So I was like, yo, I was like, yo, 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 New Sean was good. So he was like, he thought it was somebody he knew. So he was like, yo, what's up? And then he started walking towards the gate. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, it's a gate separating us. You know what I'm saying? Now, we can see them coming out, but we can't see what they doing in the yard. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So now, when he started walking towards the gate to see, to get a better look at me, to see if he know me like that, because because the way I shouted him out, he think I know him. You know, he think he know me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, Nishar, what's good, B? You know what I'm saying? I'm like that, nigga. That's how I am. You know what I'm saying? I knew what I was doing. I said, yo, what's good, B? So he came to the gate. He was like, yo, what's up, B? What's up? I was like, yeah, what's good, man? Oh, you got, they got you an APPU? He's like, yeah, man. He's like, yeah, B. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, get out of here, man. You heard? Gave all them chicks AIDS, B. You a suck ass nigga. And all my homies like, yo, we faggot ass nigga. When we catch you, we going to blow your ass up, B. We going to kill you when we catch you, nigga. You heard? Nasty ass nigga, you heard? Niggas gonna kill you. He was, he ran off scared, like walked off scared. But that was his fault. He wasn't supposed to come to close to that gate, you heard? He thought it was sweet, you know what I'm saying? Caught the nigga as soon as he came, you heard? As soon as he came to APPU. I was like, yo, 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 Sean, what's good, man? He was like, oh, what's up? 
coming closer to the gate to see a better look to think he know me because the way I said what's up to him I said faggot ass nigga what you giving chicks A's and shit man bum ass nigga you know what I'm saying that nigga was a dirty ass looking nigga too B nigga with braids you know what I'm saying dirty skin nigga you know what I'm saying running around looking all crazy in the face look Yo, I hated that look. I, I hated the way that nigga looked at B. You know what I'm saying? Word of mother, man. Spit on that nigga, man. You heard? But I'm going to keep it official, man. I don't know if he gave a lot of them chicks A's. You know what I'm saying? But he probably did, foul ass nigga. You heard? Yo, man. It don't make me no difference if he get out or not. You heard? I just, I just, I just, I'm just reporting the story. You heard? Giving y'all that history.